Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve problem 4.10 from Nielsen and Riddle book. So, the question is a 10 ohm resistor is connected in series with the current source in the circuit in figure P4.8. So, we will have another resistor here and the value is 10 ohm. Okay, 10 ohm. Okay, now let's do the question A. Find V0. I think we can do KCL at this node here. Let's set this as our ground. So the voltage here will be 0. And this is node V0. And then we will have this current. Goes, I just follow this 5 ampere current source. And this is going out of V0. And this is going into V0. And this node here is 180 volt from the ground. Okay. Now let's calculate KCL at V0. KCL at V0. And KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. The only current that goes in is this one. So I'll have 180 minus V0 divided by 12 plus 5. That will be 17. And then plus, not plus, equal. Because the other currents is going out. So we'll have V0 divided by 2. So we'll have V0 divided by 2. And then plus, we will have this current here because we have current source here. We will have 5 ampere. The current in the resistor also 5 ampere because the current in series circuit is the same, right? So we'll have 5 ampere. Okay, now let's, let's multiply both sides by 34. So we'll have 360 minus 2V0. And this one will be 17 V0. And then 5 multiplied by 34 is 170. Okay, we will have 190 on the left hand side. 360 minus 170. And on the right hand side, I will have 19 V0. Therefore, we will have V0 is equal to 10 volt. Okay, V0 is 10 volt. And now let's move on to the question B. Okay, find the power developed by the 5 ampere current source. So we'll have the power of 5 ampere. And power is just the voltage multiplied by the current, right? So we need to find out the voltage here. However, we know that this current is 5 ampere. Uh, maybe not the power first. I think we need to find out this. Maybe let's name that as V1. Okay. And we will have V0 minus V1. Okay. V0 minus V1 divided by 10. That will be 5 ampere. Okay. We will have V0 minus V1 is equal to... 50, I think. And so we will have V0 is 10, right? So we'll have 10 minus V1 is equal to 50. And that will be V1 is equal to minus 54 minus, minus 40. Minus 40. Minus 44. And that means that that is 40 volt lower than our ground, right? Okay, now what can we do from here? We can calculate the power, right? The power by this 5 ampere resistance. So we will have 5 ampere. Okay, we don't need to care about the sign uh, when we calculate the power. So we will have 40 
multiplied by the current which is 5 and we will have 200 watt so this is for the question b okay now let's move on to the question c find the power developed by the voltage source okay maybe let's clean up the board first okay now let's do question c we need to find out the power by the voltage source we know the voltage here which is 180 but the current we need to calculate the current first maybe let's name the current here as i0 okay what is i0 i0 is 180 minus v0 divided by 17 and what is v0 v0 remember that v0 is 10 volt yeah this one so we will have uh 180 minus 10 divided by 17 and we will have 170 divided by 17 that will be 10 ampere okay i0 is 10 ampere but then we can get the power in the 180 volt voltage source and that will be 180 multiplied by 10 so the power in 180 volt is 18,000 watt okay d verify the total power developed is equal to the total power dissipated okay maybe let's find out the the total power dissipated by the resistor right total power dissipated by the resistors okay and for this one here i will have 180 minus 10 the voltage and then multiplied by the current here which is 10 ampere okay and then for this one i will use p squared divided by 2 so we will have 10 squared divided by 2 and then for this one here i know the voltage here which is 10 and i know the voltage here so we will have 10 minus v1 what is v1 v1 is minus 40 okay so we will have 10 minus minus 40 that will be 50 okay. i mean 10 plus 40 that will be 50 and the current will be 5 ampere okay and now we will have 1700 and then plus we'll have 100 divided by 2 and then we will have this one will be 50 multiplied by 5 we will have 250 okay so we will have 100 1700 and then plus 50 and then plus 250 50 and 250 will be 300 and that will be 2000 watt. Okay, that is the power dissipated by the resistance. So, the power given by the source Okay. That will be this one here. So, 100 I mean 1800 watt and then the current source is giving 200 watt so we will have plus 200 and that will be 2000 watt okay and then the power dissipated we already calculated that which is 2000 watt yeah because this this and that okay this and that is the same so we get this verified
Okay, that is the for the question D. And then the for the last one. What effect will any finite resistance connected in series with the 5 ampere current source have on the value of P0? Okay. Uh, I don't think that this will be have any effect. Okay. No effect. Why? Because no matter the value of the resistance here, you will always get the current here is 5 ampere no effect on P0 because the current is always 5 ampere. So that is the answer for the question E. And, and I think that's all for the question 4.10. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.